What's up? What's going on, you guys? It's your boy Earl Shatter, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing the attachment that the pros now want to see banned from Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Mostly, of course, that appeals to their CWL Pro League, based on some of the points that the professional players make, alongside actually just taking a look at this attachment at a further and closer look. We can realize that this truly is an overpowered attachment and see how it could be a problem for public matches as well. Before we get into the rest of the video, if you guys do enjoy this content at any time, make sure you guys go down below and show your support for the channel by crushing that like button. Let's put a goal of 50 likes on today's video. Also, if you guys are new and want to find your way back to the channel, make sure you guys do subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. The attachment that we are discussing today is used on the SOG 9mm, and this is actually the only weapon in particular that this is overpowered on, is the Stock 2. The pro players came to the conclusion that the SOG 9mm Stock 2 attachment is overpowered just based on what it offers the weapon. Now what it offers the weapon allows the gun to go above and beyond, making it feel too powerful against the rest of the competitive meta out there. The gun's basically just too strong, a lot of people are using it, there's not enough variety going on, at least in my opinion, and Honestly, this attachment is not necessary for the SOG 9mm to be good. The gun is very competitive without it. Personally, in public matches myself, I had never thought to even try the stock 2 until I saw the pro players talking about this specific topic. The pro player by the name of Parasite had this to say on Twitter about the stock 2 attachment. He says, Stock 2 needs a nerf or needs to go. It allows you to jump shot accurately, strafe at 70% increased speed, and prone seamlessly. He doesn't seem to have issues with the Maddox using Quick Draw 2, or even having Grip 2 available to something such as the ICR. He says Grip 2 is fine, only usable gun, isn't even multi-purpose, it spuns at anything except head glitches and wall banging. So he has a good point, so a lot of the other guns that have something similar like Quick Draw 2 or Grip 2 don't really benefit from the attachment nearly as much as the actual SOG 9mm does while using stock 2. Let me know down in the comment section below if you've ever run stock 2 on your SOG 9mm class setup and if you thought that it was overpowered. It seems as though a pro player by the name of Nelson or Brandon McKinney also reached out on Twitter and said he thought that they should ban all overpowered weapons instead of an attachment for just one, but Parasite reiterated that the SOG was still good without stock 2. He said, the Maddox is okay without Quick Draw 2, and the ICR is absolutely unusable without Grip 2, which means that the SOG is actually the best weapon. SOG 2 isn't necessary, but it is incredible, and the others are needed to be relevant. For those of you that are unfamiliar or don't follow the pro players, whenever something like this attachment arises, they put this thing on a list, which they call the Gentleman's Agreements, basically a list of things that aren't actually official rules for the CWL, that all the pro players agree on so that nobody uses it against each other. A great example of one of their gentlemen's agreements is when the Zero Specialist came out, they all decided that they didn't want to play against each other using that and that it wasn't really fair or balanced for their competitive meta. So they decided we're going to add that to the list, nobody's going to use it and everybody agreed upon it and nobody used Zero for the, for the remainder of the time. It wasn't until yesterday actually with the update of the CWL rule set that Zero was removed and actually any specialist in the future will not be added into the CWL Pro League. After originally hearing that it was more than likely that the stock 2 for the SOG 9mm was going to make the gentleman agreements list, we had a couple days of silence and after that silence, Scump actually released that two or three teams had yet to agree to these terms and that they actually wanted to keep the stock 2 remaining in the CWL Pro League and not actually agree to it. Later. Clayster, not so secretive, decided to come out and actually share the names of those three teams that had yet to agree to these terms. Three teams that so far have yet to agree to the terms would be Splice, Midnight Esports, and the Evil Geniuses. All of these teams understandably have had high success using the SOG 9mm fast gameplay and the stock 2 attachment overall. Honestly, at CWL Vegas, this attachment was underused, but that quickly changed at the Pro Qualifier as it became a more and more seen attachment. Some teams were even seen using only Stock 1 and 2 on the SOG, which was actually kind of surprising. So it'll be interesting to see if something happens with this gentleman's agreement. However, it is unlikely that it will be solved soon if these pro players just cannot agree. I do want to make it clear that we are only talking about the Stock 2 available on the SOG 9mm. It is also possible to have the obviously stock 2 on something such as the Vapor, but it just doesn't offer the same benefits or overpowered benefits, I should say, as the stock 2 does for the SOG 9mm. 
After hearing what the pros have to say about the attachment, and using the attachment myself, I can say that Stock 2 probably doesn't belong in the game for the SOG 9mm. I would love to see this thing get a nerf to help kind of balance itself out, because for SMG users, it is absolutely easy to say that the SOG is by far the most viable weapon in Black Ops 4, and then with Stock 2 available, it's improved even further and beyond with this attachment and it just makes it extremely overpowered. I feel like it's kind of unbalanced and a nerf would be awesome or complete removal would be even better. I really don't anticipate a lot of change to this attachment for public matches. However, with what the pros say, I think it would be a viable option or choice for Treyarch in helping balance their game to do so. Now that's going to wrap things up for today's video. If you guys did enjoy yourselves at any time, make sure you guys go down below and show your support for the channel by crushing that like button. As I said earlier, we do have that goal of 50 likes on today's content. Also, if you guys are new and want to find your way back to the channel, make sure you guys do subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. Again, I thank you guys all for tuning into today's video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.